Hey guys, I uh, wanted to go over some of the mods I've done to these Novix full length sticks. You could do these with one wolf sticks as well. Um, this is the finished product with a whoopsie daisy from Backwoods Mobile. Gotta make up some daisy chains, but just give us an idea for now. So you're at two pounds, one ounce. Now, if I remember correctly, four of these versus four of my Little Wolf Custom Gear Minis were basically the same weight, finished with the cable eaters and everything. So, uh, what you end up doing before I pull this one apart is you got a full length stick. What I find the easiest way to do it is switch the Versa button on the, so the Versa button would be located right here on the full length stick. This is where the middle step would be. Okay, so you just switch them. You're going to have to drill one hole, the, um, the step stopper bolt, okay? That's it. And then you're going to have to just chop off the top. So if that's the easiest way to do it. Same with like uh, API full lengths. You just swap that button with the step and uh, cut it off above the step. Now, we got 21 and a half step to step distance. So for the guys that are a little shorter in stature, you might want to drop that down a little bit because at six foot for me with my hunting gear on, this is a pretty good step. Um, I also got the cableators from Eastern Woods Outdoors. These are 22 inch and they pack up real nice with this setup. Uh, these cableators aren't quite as nice as the Lone Wolf Custom Gear Set. But, uh, I mean, I'm sure 20 inch ones would have worked, but I ended up just getting these a little bit of a cheaper option, but they, um, these things are sharp. They, they got the cable little pieces sticking out past the clamp clamp on piece and, uh, they carry up a little bit. Um, so that, that's the easiest way to just mod those sticks. Give yourself some custom length mini sticks. Now, if you want to go further, like I have, uh, I can show you what I've done. Um, I wanted to, I wanted these sticks, and unfortunately, two are out in the woods right now. I got a semi preset going on, and uh, I just got them stuck out there right now. So I don't have all four to show you guys, but I wanted them to side stack, just like the One Wolf Custom Gear sticks, and they stack pretty nice. Um, Obviously, we don't have the grommets to kind of lock them in place, uh, but they work pretty good. And to get the low tape, uh, rotating brackets here, let me take this daisy chain off here. Okay, so to get these rotating standoffs, you need to have a flush mounted nut because a nut is what it would it would hit on and that would it would rotate slightly but not 360 degrees so um the apis that i did last year i used a product called a nut cert or a nut rivet and you just you got to drill out the back side so this is the front side of the stick the back side the holes are all just a little bit bigger and you would put that in there and then they make a, a product or you can diy a tool where you end up crushing this and then it can't come out but it's, i don't have that special tool and it's really hard um, when you have a stainless steel nuts or to, to crush that so i was having issues and i ended up this is a Home Depot going through the hardware aisle and 
came across these things. Quarter inch threads. Um, I forget exactly what they call them, like crown bolts and crown nuts. I think they use them in furniture. But they looked very familiar to me because I had the Lone Wolf custom gear sticks with the original buttons. And uh, of course, there was issues with those. And I think all the issues stemmed from the when the button was installed, there was like a lot of threads sticking up. And there, there's a lot of leverage there. So they were bending on people. Now, what I ended up doing is, uh, like I said, you only have to drill out the back side so that the nut will slide in there and fit flush. And then I had to trim this one. I got the wrong size, but you just screw this on and run it in tight, tighten it down. Now you don't have any threads exposed and you don't have as much leverage on that. So I really believe that these, these will hold up. Um, I ended up purchasing four of these to try, but I was running into issue trying to get a countersunk um, a bolt to use with them. And actually that's what I was doing. I was looking for hardware for these. I was planning on running these and um, ended up coming across this other stuff. So, uh, yeah. Then while I was at it, I was trying to think of, well, I had the nut certs in mind and I totally ditched that idea and just bought another one, another one of the crown nuts and just had a, got the correct threaded bolt for it. And um, I had to trim these as well. But these just go in. They go in uh, and just tighten it down. And you get that nice flush finish on the back side for the most part. I mean, it sticks up a little bit, but it's not bad. So go back to the full, the finish stick. And then when I stealth strip these, I end up cutting out everything around the, uh, you know, all, all this hardware, it's bare underneath, but you can't really tell because I cut it out, you know, exactly the size. But, um, yeah, I, I needed to stealth strip this, this last one. And before I did, I wanted to show you guys kind of an easy way to mod these sticks. Same with the APIs. And um, if you want to take it the step further and get get them to side stack, so uh, that's what you can do. Because I yeah I didn't want to use this button; it's huge, and uh, I wanted something that was going to be fit the one inch tubing without protruding out the sides. So uh, I've climbed with them quite a bit, not a ton, but haven't had any issues at all. And uh, I'll keep climbing with them unless you want to buy them. Hit me up. Alright guys, have fun and be safe.